Welcome to the Void Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing liver meatball soup. Liver meatball soup. Yeah. Now, yes. I thought this out because there's not a lot of ingredients, right? So what do you got? There's two two portions to making this this recipe. You have to make the boils, and then you have to make the broth. Nice. So you need beef liver. You can use follow along. You need beef liver, one to three pounds, it's garlic, eggs, butter salt and pepper, and the key is cracker meal. What, okay. need, what we want to do first is we want to cut up the liver mm -hmm. so we can make our mixture. So basically, when you go to the store, you'll see it's in a package, shop right or whatever. Um, and again, it's beef liver. What we're gonna do is take a cutting board and we're gonna, and sometimes, there's a little fun fact too. Sometimes the cutting board is, it moves like this when you cut. Mm. So if you take, towel or paper towel and you just wet it a little bit right. you put it down but you don't move wow this is like one beef liver it's a big so like what you want to do is we want to chop this up in small pieces so we can put it in the chopper make our mixture and then mix it all together with the eggs okay so what you want to do is if you see any fat or veins, mm -hmm. like here, you just want to... You trim it down like uh, like chicken or anything else, right? Correct, yeah. So then you want to just trim it in like little sections. So yeah, you put everything in here. And this is the most time-consuming part of it. It's just getting it all into a, a liquid form so you, can, so you can beat it up together. You want it soupy, so that's what you kind of want it like. Cool. So, what we're going to do is get another clean bowl that we're going to use for mixing. We're just going to make sure it has no lumps in it. Nice. And so, it looks like it's good. Three pounds of liver. <clears throat> so three pounds of liver, you use one egg for like a pound and a half. Oh, so, perfect. So or two, two eggs. Two okay, here's a key ingredient. Like I like the... Yes. The board says cracker meal. You can either get it regular or for those who are health conscious, sodium free. So now I don't measure the cracker meal when I put it in because it's all about, again, it's all about consistency. So exactly. we're just going to shake some in there. We have salt and pepper shaker in one. So we're just going to. Okay. So put a little all in there. of this in before you mix it all together. Does it matter? Right. Doesn't matter. Okay. We're gonna put a little butter in. So I normally two. Does it matter uh, what kind of butter? Salted, unsalted? Doesn't nope. Matter. Whatever you have on hand. Cool. Whatever your your doctor wants you to eat. So we're gonna put one. So you're not measuring this either. You're just doing it. Just a regular I'm just spoon. Put two. two scoops. From a regular spoon. And one for the governor. All right. So what you do is now. It is going to splatter. Stand back. <laughs> You have to go really slow. There's one, one ingredient that we need to put in here that gives it a real good flavor. And you can use two. Teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Okay. So I think we're in good shape here. Okay. It's still a little bit soupy, so what, I, so what I'm going to do is put some more I see. low sodium or sodium free. <laughs> sodium free. Cracker, cracker meal, yeah. Is this your favorite meal of Thanksgiving? Even though it takes a while, I like making it. Yeah. Because I like making it because a lot of people like it. Yeah. So when it brings joy to people, Aww. you know, it makes you makes feel good. You want to you know a fun fact about liver? Always. Well, not so much about liver, it's about our countries. Okay. Do you know that in England, they don't have any blood banks? No. They don't? Did you know? No. I didn't know that. But they have a liver pool. <laughs> yeah, I went a long way for that one. That's really good, Uncle Andy. I went a long way wow. for that one. Cling wrap. Covering it with cling wrap. Covering it with cling wrap.
We're going to take turkey drumsticks and we're going to fill the pot halfway up with water. Okay. Like making any kind of broth, you can get you can get turkey broth. Okay. And what that'll do is you add that to the water. Okay. Because what you want to do is make it boiling so we can cook the meatballs. So you can have the turkey broth or you can have something that's new, bone broth. Bone broth. It's for that bony taste. And I will give you in advance the secret weapon to making meatballs. Okay. <gasps> wow. A melon baller. Wow. How they're cooked is not in the oven, but they're cooked within, right within the broth. So, Grandma used to make it, and she used to do this all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> in her hands. That's how I make these. For the first time I tried that, I looked like I looked like the Hulk because I was like, no, but you have like and then the magic happens tomorrow. Yeah. Here we have our liver meatball mixture that we put in about 12 hours ago. And as you can see, it's more firm and less jiggly than before. As you can tell, our broth mixture is consisting of a big pot with water, half filled bouillon, chicken turkey broth, and turkey legs. This is where the magic happens. What we want to do, come closer, is we have our pot and everything is boiling right now. What we're going to do is take this and with our melon baller, we're going to take a little scoop. Can you come closer? We're going to take a little scoop. And we're going to let the steam from the broth catch and drop. This whole process takes a long time only because there's a lot of meatballs to make. So, we have some music. <laughs> now we're gonna put more meatballs in. Okay, one more thing I forgot to say. When you take, before you make the meatballs to make more room, you have to take the turkey legs out and they look like this because they've been cooking. So what you have to do is take the meat off the bone <laughs> and just drop it in and it gives it more turkey flavoring, see? That's one more step that you can do if you decide to put the turkey legs in there. See how nice and soft it is and tender? We'll come revisit this in about an hour after they're all cooked, and we'll see how it looks. And that is how you make liver meatball soup.